And then the great part about you is like left and right, you're gonna finish. But at the same time, if anyone if the help comes, you one of those unselfish players is gonna be like, I know where to find the kick out and the shooter. And as a matter of fact and, and then by the way, you can shoot the ball. So that's another thing. So it's kinda of crazy. You're you're actually a true essence of what triple threat means. So as a player as a player we kinda of want you to be a star. You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. All these bands busting out my pocket, I can't hide it. Fuck that, cause I got them, they can't doubt it. 40 on me, it's a rocket, you can't stop it. Run up on me, I'm a pop it, please don't try it. All these niggas hating on me, cause I got my bands. People make a song when I'm a true fan, so I don't get it. Just go, I can't stand it. figure i really didn't have a real role model as of like celebrities and stuff but other than that it was kind of tough growing up because the people that i used to look up to they weren't good like role models they were people that actually was older than me but they also did like negative things like sell drugs or they were being in gangs or doing negative stuff that i wasn't around and my mom like she forced me to not be around negative things so it was kind of tough growing up, especially because I was barely around my dad like that. And I was barely around the rest of my older brothers because they was either over my father's house or my oldest brother, he lived in Jersey. So I really wasn't around him. And my other brother that I, I used to live with, he was barely around because he was always older than me. And he always used to, he used to be able to go off the block. And my mom used to force me to stay on the block all the time and be around the kids that were my age. Yeah, I'm coming right back at them. I ain't letting up off these niggas. For what? Uh, this the sequel to this shit. Yeah, this white fried. Got dropped by the industry, but the streets have me. Yeah, the streets have me. Yeah, the plug sign. Five bricks for my advance. Breaking bread with my little mans. In the kitchen with that pot and with that work, I'm too advanced. Man. Free the gas home. The gas. I'm fighting to bring the gas home. Yeah. Fuck the judge. Money order. Head bow. Praying for you. Basketball minds. They never played the game, so. Mm -hmm. I know what it takes. And I know all the little stuff that makes you become a great player. You think he could be a great player? Yeah, he got the he has the skills uh, on the athleticism. And he's still good. So high expectations? Yeah, I have a high expectation, especially after these workouts that we have. This is next level stuff right here. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you can't be nothing but great now. Like, this is what takes you going to the next level. All right. All the little stuff that nobody sees. Real shit. With this, with this does, so I have a two. So it helps you build your core up. So when you want to do these step back moves, it's still on balance, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything we do, it's still on balance. So, that's the purpose of all these core exercises. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie. It's sound like a slick head. Mm. So? Yeah, I told y'all. Stop me the mind. I'm in a 
Basketball court, like the, the, the plastic basketball courts in the crib that I used to shoot on all the time. I used to dunk on it. So when I wasn't around the court, I used to shoot paper balls in the trash can all the time. And I used to be always around a lot of sports. And my dad and my older brothers used to play ball all the time. So that's what really sucked me into playing basketball. Jump in the ball, rather than not. I change a lot, now you're gonna ride. Oh, say. He ain't got no money, yeah. Oh, say it. He ain't got no money, yeah. Oh, say it. He ain't got no money, yeah. Oh, say it. He ain't got no money, yeah. First of all, I'm the youngest person. I'm the youngest brother on both sides of my family. I'm the youngest brother on my mom's side and my dad's side. I'm the first. I'm the first boy on both my my dad and my mom's side to play varsity ball. Like all my years of high school. Also, the number one stands for me, like being independent and me being just like me just being by myself and working on my craft by myself. And the number three stands for the third youngest. And I always wanted the number three because I used to look up to my, the middle-aged brother, my brother Buddha, and he used to wear the number three all the time. And then what really stuck out to me was around the time my grandma passed away. Uh, it was around my junior year, I think. And my coach felt as though I should keep the number 13, just a reminder of her, because that was the last number I wore as a varsity player at Orton Reed. So I just kept that number. darkest moments of my of my life like number one was number one that take the cake is my grandma uh i was 16 when my grandma passed away i was home well i was at my aunt house and i was told late that my grandma was in the hospital or whatever and like she was on her deathbed and when i got to the hospital i got to the hospital pretty late i got to the hospital i got to the hospital at 5 55 and she passed away at 5 52. So I felt some type of way. Um, and I really didn't know how to like handle it at that point in time. So that's what really like affected me a lot, affected my game and affected everything about me. So I just felt as though I need to keep playing for her. Uh, the second darkest moment was October 12, 2016, when um, I found out, no, I actually found out October 13, 12 o'clock that night, that my uh, one of my friends got killed, one of my friends, Celine. Celine was like, he was just like me. He was goofy, funny, played around all the time, played ball, but not as much as me, but he played ball. And it was kind of like tough growing up. Like you see somebody you grow up with all the time and where though you don't see him no more. And you made so many memories with him to where though this person is not there no more. So when I found out that, I was just like in pain and I didn't know what to do. And the last, the last darkest moment was like me growing up and me not being able to have like remember like special moments with like my father, my older brothers and stuff. That's one of my darkest moments. And I feel as though that if I play good in ball and I play play pretty good in college, I feel as though I could be able to bring my family in together for them to start spending time with me and start spending time like making time for me to uh, making time for them to come to my games or whatever and come watch me play ball. Lo 
royalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA. I got power, poison, pain, and joy inside my DNA. I got hustle, though, ambition, flow inside my DNA. I was born like this, and sworn like this. Immaculate conception, I transform like this, perform like this. What shall you a new weapon? I don't contemplate, I meditate, then off your fucking head. This that put the kids to bed. This that I got, I got, I got. Not yet. I got a good idea, but not yet. Yeah, that's him again. The sound the engine in is like a bird. You see fireworks and coffee tires skirt the boulevard. I know how you work. I know just who you are.